Where will geocaching take you? We're in Prince Edward Island, PEI. And, and we'd, we'd like, like you to come, come with, with us. us. From the bright red mud Rolling down the highway smiling He's got another load of the best doggone potatoes that have ever been growed Growed is not a real word, okay? <laughs> and they're from Prince Edward Island They're from Prince Edward Island They're from P.I. P in your own eye Thank you, guys. Got it. Good. Not only is it a cool lighthouse. Oh, there's a geocache here, too. Yeah, let's go see. Let's go find it. The hint says it should be uh, behind the red rock under the asphalt. Behind the red rock under the asphalt. Uh, we're out of luck. There's no oh. cash there. All right, let's take a look. Oh, I see it. Okay, up, 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 up. Yeah, oh, there it is. It. Not where the hint says it'll be, but we got it. Now the trick is to get it open. She's magnetically key lock challenged. <laughs> While we were signing the cash, we got muggled. We did, <laughs> some great people, and they thought they might like to geocache Yeah, now. asked us what we were looking for. We told them all about geocaching. We might have made new geocaches out of yeah. them. Yeah, so maybe we'll see them on the trails. Prince Edward Island is one of the three maritime provinces. It is the smallest province of Canada in both land area and population. It became a British colony in the 1700s and became a province in 1873. The population of PEI is approximately 160,000. Like Idaho in the U.S., potato farming is the number one industry producing 25% of Canada's potato crop. A huge lobster! Yeah. Stand them up and you can really see the size of it. Oh, yeah. Wow! So Stand it aside and get your picture taken. Yeah. You did this 35 years ago, you caught yeah. this in yeah. a net? Yeah. yeah. We were fishing for flounder and we got a whole bunch of lobsters for them. So wow. We had to throw them all back because they had a size anyway. So I sneaked this fellow ashore. <laughs> they are left handed lobsters and right handed lobsters. Mm. Really? Yep. This is this is his right hand. That's oh, his big it's hand. Oh, bigger, yeah. Oh, okay. And some you look in the pound. Sometimes you'll see the big claws on this side. Oh. So he's a left-handed lobster. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. Didn't know that. You put the bait in here, okay? Like in there, mm -hmm. on that string, mm -hmm. and then you push that down and hold it in place. The lobster goes in here after the bait. You put a fish on there, a mackerel or a heron. Mm -hmm. And when he goes in there, when he eats. And then he messes around and he crawls up here and he drops down in this part. And it's hard for him to get out. Oh. We're in the capital of Prince Edward Island, Charlottetown, and we're here looking for the Great White North Geotour Cache in this capital city. We found the code for it and all over the country, Canada, there's codes in every capital city and then you find the final in Ottawa. That's right. We have found the one that's in Toronto and we just recently with our friends in Oakshook and Terrier just found the one in Fredericton. Mm -hmm. So we're on our way. So come along with us. It gives us a great tour of Charlottetown. The island has several informal names, such as Garden of the Gulf, Birthplace of Confederation, or the Gentle Island. It's really hard to. John A. Macdonald, first Prime Minister of Canada. So, buddy, have you heard of geocaching? It's great stuff. Cache Canada? 
best thing you ever created. I mean, Canada, good thing you created. We're open, but there we go. We found us a cache. We found us a Great White North Geo Tour cache, Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. We got it. Calculations were correct, and there we go. Log book, everything's good, everything's dry. Whole lot of swag. Woohoo! Third one for the country. You gotta like it when a plan comes together and the <laughs> coordinates work out. <laughs> so nice to get that one. Just another great cache. Yep. We're on our way for another. Yep. More adventures here at PEI. Found one. Great trail treasure box. Second one we found right here in Prince Edward Island National Park. Hidden all across Canada are 200 treasure boxes just like this one. And we just wanted to highlight the treasure hunt for the Great Trail. There'll be links for it down in the bottom in the description. And it's just one more way you can have an adventure all across the land. And the Great Trail is one more awesome place that you can explore here in Canada. I found your lunch. Oh, lovely. You're so kind. Can I save it for later? PEI also offered a new adventure lab, the Lighthouses of Eastern PEI, featuring five locations which can be done in any order. Who doesn't like a lighthouse? Or five? PEI is located about 200 kilometers or 120 miles north of Halifax, Nova Scotia. It has a land area of about 5,700 square kilometers or 2,200 square miles. Look how the layers of rocks are different. This is more like a shale and bedrock. Another shale and wooden rocks. Karen's sending in the answers. We've got them, we've checked out the cave, and this is one of our main targets here on Prince Edward Island was the Thunder Cove Sea Caves. It just looks like another world with all the different grooves and the landscape. It just looks so surreal. Really, really neat, and it goes in pretty far. But wait. Wait for what? There's more. More what? Sights to see. Oh. Just around the corner. Let's go. I'm a little teapot. Short and stout. It's the little teapot virtual right here at the sea caves. It's beautiful. It's almost like the flower pot, a flower pot island in Georgian Bay. And now we should go for a swim. Yeah, it's looking pretty inviting. Let's go. Okay. Wow. So cool. This feature is called the horse's back. The lighthouse is nearby, that's kind of cool, but this is the reason we came here, because of this earth cache. It's a one, four and a half earth cache that Lyric Glass and I don't have yet for our 81 squares filled with earth caches. It's a pretty cool feature. And we're up on a point right here, and it's uh, all surrounded by water. And luckily for this earth cache, you don't have to go down there to get the answers for what you need. Just a few pictures to post on your log, and an estimation of something that you are, are witnessing here. 
We hope that you're enjoying the, this tour of Prince Edward Island. We sure are enjoying being here and bringing it to you. A trip to Prince Edward Island wouldn't be complete without a stop to see Stompin' Tom. Stompin' Tom and Bud the Spud. Stompin' Tom was a Canadian country and folk singer-songwriter from New Brunswick. He focused his career exclusively on his native Canada. His songs have become part of the Canadian cultural landscape. Three of his best known songs are Sudbury Saturday Night, Bud the Spud, and the Hockey Song. Just take a little piece of a PEI, no Saskatchewan, no Scotia, and New Brunswick, Quebec and Newfoundland, Alberta and Manitoba, Ontario and BC. Have found the stomping grounds of all my friends and me. You have found the stomping grounds of all my friends and me. Just take a little piece of a PEI. No Saskatchewan. No Saskatchewan. Well, we're here at another virtual and another earth cache. The sites are amazing. There's a sand barn just off over there. Everywhere you turn here in this province, there's something new to see. And lots of potatoes. <laughs> Just take a little piece of PEI. No Saskatchewan, no Scotia, and New Brunswick, Quebec and Newfoundland, Alberta and Manitoba, Ontario and BC. You have found the stomping grounds of all my friends and me. You have found the stomping grounds of all my friends and me. My name is Kirk Bernard. Enjoy your time here on PEI. Be safe. A trip to P Prince Edward Island. <laughs>